Angler's Bills Court of Florida Bass Paddler. And this morning, we're going for snakeheads. Stay tuned. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, so here we are in um, a local canal system. It has a small lake here. We're coming off about 30 hours of consistent rain, and when the rain stopped, I said, as soon as I'm able to get out there and fish this area, I want to hit it, because I know the three canals that come off this lake have probably really filled up and have given the snakeheads a lot more room to get up on the shore, some clean vegetation, some new areas, so. I wanted to get out here and hit this as soon as uh, the weather cleared up. So we're out here today. We're going to be chasing some uh, snakeheads. Let's go catch them. There we go. Juvenile, very aggressive. Gonna get him back in the water. Okay. They don't stop fighting. Even when you get them in the boats, you want to be very careful. Um, you know where your hook is at all times because they're gonna start thrashing and uh, making a mess of things. So he was a fun fight, but really, really small. So let's see if we can't get some others. Seeing how he ruined my frog, actually he didn't ruin it, I had to tear it apart to get, see where that hook was so I can get out of his mouth because he, uh, he swallowed that one, so. I'm gonna use a three-aught swim bait hook with the bait keeper, I hope you can see that right there. This is a Gamakatsu super line. I'm gonna push that bait keeper right in the center of that nose and I'm gonna twist that bait. I've done this on other videos. The key is, is that the nose lines up properly with the eyelet of the bait keeper. And then I'm gonna bend that bait, and put that hook right near his crotch, for lack of a better word. Keeping it nice and center, using the break in the legs as a centering point. Come out that back. right into the center channel of that bait so the hook rests in that bait. A little bit extra of the Norm's Bait Buddy. I've been using it for years, it works. Uh, I use it only on soft plastics. Um, I feel that the fish hold on a little bit longer, which is uh, for me key when throwing these frogs. It lets me know when the fish is on. I feel a heaviness of the line, so let's see if we can get some others. Oh, he came out of the water. <laughs> That's what we're looking for.
Damn, not very big, but feisty, feisty, feisty. And they're just sitting in the shallows. Again, I haven't seen many today. It's been pretty slow, but they're like sitting right up against the grass in like the shadier areas, so. Let's let them go. Okay, okay, okay. To give you an idea of some of their habitat, they love the sun on all this mess. And then they'll hang along down these edges. A couple Mayans down there. These dead end canals, all that muck and dead grass and lily pads and trash and everything else that's accumulated here at the dead end, that's where they hang out. Got me stuck though. I keep that pressure on. You got me wrapped. He went straight down into the weed line and I had a feeling he was going to come off. The challenge you face when you're fishing for these guys. They love to get in that thick stuff. Two decent ones I lost now. Name of the game. Oh, I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> Get him out of the weeds. Woo, there he goes. Death roll. Evolution has a way. Animals adapt. People adapt. I want to show you interesting about this, something interesting about this fish I just saw. Missing one of his fins. See this one here? No. He's missing this one. I don't see any scarring, so it must be a birth defect of some kind. It happens. I mean, hell, I was born without a brain. But that doesn't keep them from being great fighters. We put on a heck of a show.
Let's get him back in the water. Decent fish like that. Always, um, always check your hook. Make sure it's not bent. Again, they are very, very destructive fish. Um, I'm kind of thinking the one I lost felt a little bigger. I don't know. Um, hard to tell when I get into weeds, but yeah, the. Bites picked up a couple fish in a matter of minutes, so I'm, I'm happy. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, again, I just want, I like to keep them simple. I love fishing for snakeheads. I think they're unbelievably tough fish. They're they're great fighters. Um, they will put your tackle to the test. And if you're looking for a Great bait for these guys. The bruiser baits kicking frog. I've, I've used it in other videos. I swear by it. It just it catches. Well, it catches bass. It's called peacock. But to me, I have not caught as many snakeheads on any other lure as I have the kicking frog. So thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, be safe out there in the water. Tight lines. <laughs>